beefy. He's uh, not really giving us his best side, I don't feel. I'm not sure that that is the best angle of a beefy we've ever had before. But nevertheless, it's all we got. Could you turn around, please, sir? There are people watching you. No, not <laughs> not even vaguely interested. Now, I did see a flash of stripes through the grass to the right. That's what that beefy's looking at. I've no doubt that he's heard them coming down. Here they come. See them there, Ferg? They're just where I'm pointing. They're coming past that thicket. Then, yeah, they've disappeared again. They, they'll keep coming. You'll start to see them in the next minute or so. I can just see the odd. There they come. Well done, you got them. Perfect. Let's watch them come down to have their dwinky. On this very bright, bright and breezy morning. Come on. Yes, Michael, it's a good question you ask me, and it is, uh, it, it is what happens quite often. You say, will zebras kill foes that are not their own? Michael, yes, they will. They're actually known for infanticide. Uh, they're known for being generally fairly miserable so-and-sos. And so, yes, absolutely, you've got to watch out for zebras. And if you are a mare or parent, you need to watch out for strange males because infanticide is not uncommon with the zebras. Here they come. Will we get the quintessential zebra drinking shot? Who knows? Oh, this is wonderful. Look at them all coming out. <laughs> I'll stop and look to see is there any lion that is going to bite me. They've just seen Beefy. They don't mind Beefy. Beefy doesn't mind them. And now we'll come down and have our drink. while the wind howls away. That's quite special that we managed to do that, I think. And I suspect they will do this once a day, every day. They do need to drink, especially in the winter time, like all of the herbivores out here. It's a very difficult time of year, well, in the winter, because the ground and the vegetation does become so very dry. <laughs> Rebecca Smith, you say, have you been saying zebra wrong all these years? I suspect you are from the United States and therefore you've been saying zebra. Um, only in the United States do people say zebra. I'm not sure why they say zebra. Um, what I will concede, Rebecca, is that, well, here's, here's a little interesting thing on accents, of course, and the way the differences between... Uh, American and uh, I suppose British English. The British love to complain about the fact that the Americans say aluminum uh, when the British think of course that it should be aluminium 
which is what this beastly Land Rover I'm driving is made of. And uh, the concession must be made that the correct term is actually closer to the American than the British. And it is not quite aluminum, but it is aluminium, was what it used to be. And how it became aluminium, no one's really sure, I don't think. Zebra, however, Rebecca, you are not going to get. I'm afraid I think zebra is the correct pronunciation of the word zebra. But rest assured that no zebra or zebra or whatever else you choose to call it is going to be vaguely affected by how you choose to say it. So if it makes you more comfortable to say the word zebra rather than the word zebra, then you should continue to do so and not worry about it in the slightest.